Hi, I'm Natalie. Welcome to Cost Cuisine, where I eat my way through Costco for you. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Costco Highliner Miso Glazed Cod. You can find this in the freezer section at Costco, and I paid $19.99 Canadian for the 907 gram box. The best before date on my box of Miso Glazed Cod is over a year from the date that I purchased it, so it will last a long time in your freezer. I'm now going to open up my box and show you what's in it. The fillets all come together in one big bag. They're not individually packaged. And I counted and I have six fillets in my bag. There are two methods listed on the box for cooking the miso glaze cod. There's a barbecue method as well as the oven method. If you're going to be using the oven method, you wanna cook your cod from frozen. Um, place your cod in a single layer on a lined baking sheet or a nonstick baking sheet. And if you have a regular oven, non-convection oven, you're gonna cook it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 18 to 22 minutes. And if you're using a convection oven, you're going to cook it at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 17 to 19 minutes. To use the barbecue method, you will want to place a layer of fillets, frozen fillets, on a piece of aluminum foil. Create a packet um, by overlapping the aluminum foil and creating edges that you crimp together. Pop the whole foil packet onto your grill and pierce a hole in the middle of the foil packet so that the steam can vent out. And then on medium high heat, you're gonna cook it for 16 to 19 minutes. Now I'm going to cook my miso glazed cod. I'm going to use the oven method, the non-convection oven method. So I'll be cooking it at 400 degrees for 18 to 22 minutes. My oven is preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and I have a piece of miso glazed cod on a parchment paper lined cookie tray. The instructions say to use aluminum foil, but I always prefer to use parchment paper. And my filet is miso uh, glazed side up. I'm gonna pop it in the oven for 18 to 22 minutes, and then I'll take it out and show you and see how it tastes. My cod's all finished, I'm gonna take it out of the oven. Right away, I noticed that the miso glaze is all over my pan, so it didn't really stick to the cod. One thing I'm gonna check is the internal temperature should be 158 degrees. So I'm going to use my thermopen to just make sure that it's fully cooked, so I don't get sick. And it's at 158. So worth it. The packaging states to let it rest for two minutes. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna bring it and try it and give it a review. I'll give you an idea of what my cod looks like cooked. There's the cod. And you can see the glaze is dripping all over my parchment paper and pan. My cod is now cooked and I'll point out that when I put it in the oven, it had a nice layer of glaze on top, but uh, as I cooked it, the glaze ran off and ended up mostly on my parchment paper and cookie tray, so I don't really have much glaze left on my piece of cod. My cod is also much smaller now that it's cooked than it was when I put it into the oven, so you might end up getting a smaller piece of cod than you were expecting because it shrinks as it cooks. And the smell, you know what? I know that a lot of people are weary about cooking fish in their house because they don't like the smell of it. My house doesn't smell fishy at all. It just kind of smells like a, more of the, you can smell more of the glaze than you can any kind of fishy smell. Now I'm gonna take a taste of the cod and let you know what I think. Really flaky. Um, is something that I noticed just cutting into it and very easy to cut into. Not at all hard, just nice and flaky and you don't even need a knife, you can just use a fork.
It's actually quite good. There's a hint of sweetness um, in the glaze, which I really enjoy. The fish itself, like the cod itself, is very, you know, flaky, light, moist, really good. Not at all fishy tasting. So that's something that I really don't like in fish is if it has a fishy uh, flavor and smell, this does not. Just really, really light and flaky. The, you don't really taste the miso glaze very much other than the sweetness. It's not super seasoned, so it's not too salty. Um, just has a little bit of sweetness and maybe, you know, I notice a few herbs, but other than that, I do have to say that the fish is quite high quality tasting. I took another few bites off camera just so I don't bore you with me chewing. And one thing that I noticed about the flavor is I do taste the soy. So if you really like soy flavored, you know, soy sauce or anything like that, the main flavors I have from this are soy and sweetness and then the fish itself, which is not really flavorful, just tastes like flaky white, you know, meat. Doesn't really taste like fish. I'm gonna go over the nutrition facts. In one filet, there are 130 calories, one gram of fat, six grams of carbohydrates, zero grams of fiber, three grams of sugar, 25 grams of protein, which is really good, and 450 milligrams of sodium, which is not so good. I looked over the ingredients list and it's pretty much what you'd expect to see. Cod, some sugar, like brown sugar, soy, sesame, paprika, one thing that stood out to me though is that it does contain wheat, obviously with the soy sauce, and it also has barley malt extract. So if you're gluten free and avoiding any kind of gluten, you might wanna skip this product. The fish is wild caught in Iceland and the bottom of the packaging speaks to how it's sustainably sourced. The Costco Highliner Miso Glazed Cod is a little bit on the expensive side. For $20, you get six fillets that shrink in the oven as you cook them. And also one thing to point out is that the glaze seems to run off and kind of disappear when you cook it. So if you want like a very flavorful, really glazed piece of cod, this might not be what you're looking for, but it's easy to cook. You just pop it in the oven, low in calories, low in fat, low in carbs, high in protein, 25 grams of protein per serving. So that's really a bonus. So if you're looking for a fish that doesn't smell like fish when you're cooking it, doesn't taste very fishy, is light, flaky, and convenient to make, I would say give it a try. That's it for my review on the Costco Highliner Miso Glazed Cod. If you like this review, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you'd like to see more Costco food reviews, visit my blog, costcuisine.com. If you would like to follow me on social media, you can search Cost Cuisine on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned as I keep eating my way through Costco for you.